All aboard! It's a sound that's been missing at Callaway Gardens Robin Lake Beach for four years. The train is back, only this one is trackless and runs on electricity. It's the brainchild of a pair of Pine Mountain residents, City Councilor Warren Aldrich, and retired railroad man Curtis Bray. Aldrich says he got the idea watching TV one night. And I was very impressed with the train as it was shown on television. I went to bed that night, and before I went to sleep, I got to thinking, you know, train, Callaway, so forth. Aldrich and Bray struck up a friendship over breakfast one morning at a local restaurant. Their friendship spawned a business partnership that grew out of their connection to the railroad. Uh, I have a love for trains. My grandfather was a conductor. When I retired from CSX about two years ago with 35 years of service, and uh, it's just, it just kind of in your blood. When Warren called Curtis about bringing one of these new electric trains to Callaway, Bray loved the idea. And once we did all our planning and research and, and got the blessing of Callaway's and everyone to, you know, to see what that worked, and that's when we pushed the train and, and uh, they delivered it for us. Warren and Curtis are Robin Lake Beach vendors. Part of the proceeds from ticket sales go to Callaway Gardens. We have uh, named it the Chickadee Choo Choo which is what the train was. Yeah, the design of this train is pretty much the same design that they had when they had the old train here on the track. We used to come down, bring my kids to ride the train, and it was great, you know, a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. The return of the train has been a welcomed sight for beachgoers since it made its debut two weeks ago. And I do think it provides a uh, service to the community and also the kids just love it. Hey, did you enjoy the ride? Okay, come back to see us. Yeah.